In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to balance volume between clips in your audio tracks. And this may be two different interviews filmed at different days, and the recording level was set higher for one and lower for the other. I'll show you how to fix that. But then also if you're adding background music, sometimes background music is too loud in the mix compared to the narration or interview. I'll show you how to adjust that as well. I have two recordings here, the beginning and the outro of a podcast. If I play these, to this week's video podcast episode, on this week's episode, we... And the second part. Thanks very much for joining us on this week's podcast. You can tell that the second one is much louder than the first, and this will happen depending on how you are recording. So what we're going to do first is we're going to get a closer view at these waveforms. Put your mouse over to the left here until you see it change into two horizontal lines. Click and drag down and release. And you can see here, just by the waveform, we can tell that this first clip is much quieter than the taller waveform peaks on this second clip. So there's something we're going to do here to change the volume. This little white line that runs across these clips here, that's the volume slider. You'll notice that there's a small L and an R for the left and right channel of your audio. You might think that the white line sitting in the left means it's going to be to the left side of the channels. That's not right. This volume line is just for volume. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and turn up this first volume here. Let's drag this white line up and push play. This week's video podcast episode, on you can already tell that that's much louder. Now what we're going to do is we're going to try and match this volume with this one over here on the right. And the thing we're going to use is not just our ears because they can be deceiving. We're going to use the audio meter over here. This week's episode, we on the right. If you don't have the audio meter, click window and choose audio meters. And now what we're looking for is we're wanting these audio meters to pulse up to hit at the top at maybe negative three. If they go higher than negative three up towards zero, they might start to clip and sound terrible. So let's play this. Back to this week's video podcast episode. I see I can bring that up a little bit more. So I'm not actually listening to this. I'm watching the audio meters mostly. Podcast episode. On this week's episode, we have a very special guest. And you can see that we got up to about here. I'm going to take this down just a little bit. About there. And now let's have a listen to the second part. Thanks very much for joining us on this week's podcast. We'll see you again next week. I noticed it went a little bit high, so let's take this down just a little bit. And now when I play these both, they should sound the same. On this week's episode, we have a very special guest. Thanks very much for joining us on this week's podcast. We'll this one's still a little bit loud, so let's bring this down just a tiny bit. And now both of our audio tracks are the same volume. If you make a mistake and you want to undo, you can take down the slider manually or you can select your clip, right click, choose remove attributes and untick everything except for volume. So you're telling it to remove the volume attribute and watch the white line after I hit OK. It goes back down. So that's how you can remove those volume changes that you've made. Now say if you have multiple pieces, let's say all of these pieces here are this first speaker and all of these pieces here are from the second section. So the volumes are matching. Instead of going through individually and manually adjusting this volume line to match the first one, you can right click and copy this first clip, then highlight any of the clips that you'd like, then right click and choose paste attributes. And what we're looking for here is we just want to paste the volume. And when I hit OK, you'll notice all of these volume lines will jump up to match this first one. So that's an easy way to go through your whole video edit, pasting this volume attribute across all of those similar clips. So what about if I bring in some music behind my podcast intro? To see this a bit better, I'm going to drag down this little line here and I can see my music here like that. So I'm just going to test out this music and see how loud it is compared to my vocals up here. Okay, so you can tell that that music track is way too loud. So I can take this volume line down and test that. Welcome back to this week's video podcast episode. Probably still a little bit loud. Let's take it down further. Welcome back to this week's video podcast episode. That sounds good. Now what I'm going to do is instead of using this volume line, I'm going to show you another way. So I'm going to undo that. What we're going to do is go to the audio tab of the top here. And the window you're looking for is audio track mixer. If you don't have that, click window, audio track mixer and it will open up. Now be careful to not choose the audio clip mixer. Clip will actually adjust each individual clip. What we're looking for is audio track mixer. And now you can see that down here we have A2 and A1. And over here we have A2 and A1. 
And these sliders actually will adjust the volume for everything that's on these tracks here. So my music is too loud and I want to adjust A2. So let's take down the volume on A2 and let's push play and have a listen. Welcome back to this week's video. Okay, that's still too loud. So what you can do is you can actually adjust this real time while it's playing. So let's do that. Welcome back to this week's video podcast episode. On this week's episode, we have a very special... So you can slide the slider up and down until you get it right. Welcome back to this week's video podcast episode. On and that looks about right. Now the benefit of the audio track mixer is that all of these clips here, I've done individual volume adjustment on. If I'm choosing my background music, I can adjust this track one to adjust all of these together as a whole to balance better with this background music. But say I change this music and I put in a different background music. Instead of going in and adjusting all of these pieces individually, I can go to my audio track mixer and then take the volume down and that lowers the volume on everything or bring it up. And all of my individual volumes are actually still there with their differences between each other. Sometimes when you record audio, you might only record to the left or right channel. On this week's episode, we have... So you can hear how this is on the left side of your ears. Thanks very much for joining us on the... And the right side. Now this is fixable very easily. First, let's drag this down so we can get a better look at our waveform. Okay, so what we're going to do is look for our effects tab. And if you don't have your effects tab, go up to window and choose effects. And in the search bar here, we're going to type in fill. And you'll notice in the audio effects folder, there's a special folder and we have fill left with right and fill right with left. So this one over here, let's see where it's playing. This week's episode, we... Okay, so that's playing in the left and I have nothing in the right. So what I want to choose is fill right with left and I can click and drag and place this over this file and let's have a listen. On this week's episode, we have a very... That's perfectly filled the right channel with the left. Now let's look at this one. Thank you very much for joining us on this week's... So that's over on the right side. So we need to fill the empty left side with the right. And it's basically copying and pasting that same audio to both sides. Thanks very much for joining us on this week's pod. And now when you're happy with that, you can adjust your volume to get the volume balance between those two audio files. So that's how you balance out left and right when it's only recorded in the left and right channel. In this recording, you'll hear that there's a cough halfway through. Welcome back to our new episode for this week's video podcast. On this week's episode, <laughs> We so the cough is right about here and I'll show you how to get rid of that. First of all, let's drag down this view line and now we can see our waveform. You can see the cough right there. So one way to remove this cough is you can actually just cut this cough out, remove it and merge your clip over like that. On this week's episode, we have a very... But say you have something more smaller than this cough here and you want to get rid of it really easily without having to cut it. This volume line that we normally change to change the volume of our clip, what we're going to do is we're going to add some things called keyframes. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit. So to add a keyframe, hold down your command key on Mac or your control key on PC and click on the volume line and you'll see that you get a small blue dot. So I'm gonna click that at the beginning and then at the end. And then what we need to do is we need to put two more in. So let's go here and here. So now we have one, two, three, four. And now what you can do is you can actually click and slide these down like that. And what happens here is the volume line is at 100% and then it quickly drops down to zero, then back up to 100. So now when I play this, the cough should be gone. On this week's episode, we have a very special guest. So that's really helpful if you have a very small moment in time where you want to get rid of a tiny noise. You can do very small adjustments like that. So our cough over here is really large, really small like that. So that might be a click or something that happens in the background and you can't actually cut it out. This is an easy way to lower the volume. Or you could use this if somebody was talking and they said a word particularly loud. Say this word here was a little bit loud. You can adjust that down so that the volume drops down just a little bit and then goes back up and you don't actually have to cut this out at all. 